Hello, everyone. Uh, this is a second problem on the uh, net area. And just to remind you, the net area is A sub n. So let me, let me write it down here. A sub n. But this time, problem 9.4 is for an angle, not like 9.2, which was for um, um, a plate. This one is an angle, so it's different. Let's read the problem statement first. L8 by 4 by half an inch has a staggered hole. Again, this is staggered, staggered holes, not straight. Uh, for 7 of an eighth an inch diameter bolts. Determine the net area for the gross area 5.8 inch squared given and the centroid of X bar is point. Uh, 80, uh, 857 inch. Um, so with that, since we have the gross area, we need to uh, determine the whole size, which is seven of an eighth of an inch of an inch plus one eighth of an inch, and gives me one in, uh, one inch in total. That's the whole size. Now we have two scenarios: a scenario where it's going to fill through a vertical line through two holes, A, B, D, and E. The second scenario is where we're going to fail staggeredly, or uh, according to the stagger pattern, A, B, C, D, and F. So we're going to determine the A, N for scenario one and two and see which one controls. And of course, uh, uh, the smaller should control. So then going through uh, section A, B, D and E, which is vertically, is going to be n equal gross area minus the whole size times the thickness. So the gross area is 5.8 minus, uh, we have two holes here, so it's two times one hole, uh, one uh, hole size, which is one inch times half given. And this gives me uh, 4.80 inch squared. That's the first scenario. The second scenario is when we have A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E. Well, because we have an angled um, plate here, the G is different, right? If you remember from previous lectures, we said we take this angle here as a center and we say, uh, G1, which is two, from the center of the the bolt to the to the to the edge of the angle, and G2, which is from the center to the bolt to the edge of the angle, and then we add them up together, just like we did here. So then G equals G1 plus G2 minus the thickness. So two plus three, plus the thickness given, gives me 4.5 uh, inch. And this is our G. Then when we plug it in the uh, equation, A G minus a three, H times T and a three, because we have a three volts, plus S square over four G T, plus S square over four G T, because we have, again, two uh, distances, one, and two. Plug and chuck 5.88 minus the three holes times one times half plus 2.25 and that's your um, S distance which is from here to here right from here to here or from here to here. The three is not our concern remember it's between the bolts squared over four times the G, which we have found here, 4.5 times half, which is the thickness. And we do the same for the second bolt. It gives us um, 4.65 inch squared. Now, the second uh, failure scenario or mode, uh, net area controls the first one. So this is our value here. Okay, now I'm gonna stop here, thank you.